All right, guys. Well, I did get some stuff in. Um, turn this light on. So I decided to put a remote start and uh, actually two-way remote. It's a window roll-up module to hopefully be able to wire up the windows to roll up uh, when you hit the ignition. I did order this also. This is to hopefully maybe fold the mirrors. I'm not sure. But I ordered it. So, but anyways, this is CompuStar, the DC3. And then I got the WebLink updating tool. And I actually already went on there and figured it out. I had to, you got to go to, uh, I think it's like firsttech.idatalink, something like that. But um, in order to program this. And then I also got the T-harness for my truck. And... So I kind of got things tore apart here. I was just in a hurry, whatever. Not in a hurry, but you know, wanting to get things going. And, and of course, I wanted to videotape this, but um, obviously on this section, this is really easy. You really, really have one 10 millimeter and then two Phillips right here. This bottom half of the column actually just okay. First of all, you have to take this little piece off that goes in here. This is for the tilt. You literally just put something behind it. I put like a pry tool and boom, popped it out. And then and then this piece, the bottom half, it literally just unclips. You can see like clips right here on both sides. It, I mean, there's no screw, nothing holding it in. It just unclips. And then so I kind of just was routing this uh, T-harness in here to, I'm not sure where I'm going to mount all this stuff. But so I'm going to get this uh, plugged in right here and then... Uh, We'll go from there. But I did. This is the uh, DC3. I did already uh, log on. Use that updater tool. And I flashed it. Hopefully I flashed it properly. The only unfortunate thing is I did. Um, af after the fact. I ended up ordering the alarm kit. Which I hope I ordered the right one. I'm pretty sure I did. But uh, that just gives you like a horn to go underneath the hood. And then like a little blue LED light. Uh, just like basically saying you have an alarm or something, but um, and uh, but that's not going to be here I think till for a couple of days. So, but I'm gonna get started on this. I'm gonna try to get the auto start part done. Basically, it's using the T harness, and then after I get that all done, I'm gonna try to work on uh, wiring up that window module and see if maybe I can get that to work. Um, but this all started because I I called a company. To see, and I knew it was going to be difficult because I did the windows and the mirrors and all that stuff myself. They, I mean, one one place only like nineteen hundred bucks, and then the other a couple other places they wanted to do it. So, I mean, I'd rather do it myself. At first, I couldn't find no place where I didn't realize you could flash this stuff on your own, and you know it was a big. But I finally got a hold of somebody, actually a guy from Lockdown Security. He's got a YouTube channel, and <clears throat> they're from Canada. The guy was super cool. You know, help me out, help me to pick the stuff out and kind of explain stuff, send me some documents. But uh, so now I have a more, <clears throat> a lot more heads up on uh, what it takes to do this. So hopefully everything's going to go um, smoothly. But uh, anyways, like I said, this is a T-harness. It's almost plug and play. You just got to tap into a couple of wires for the parking lights. And uh, I'm not even going to use the horn so because uh, I got the siren. So I'm not even going to tap into that line. But let me let me get this part done. And then figure out where I got to tap into those wires and I'll just make, I'll record as I go. Okay, so right here, literally you just push this little tab right here. And then pull this out. And then right here you got to pry this back, this red piece back a little bit. And then you push this little button. And then this will just pop right out. Well, there we go. So you just pry this little red piece back a little bit because it kind of snaps in there. But, uh, so let me hook up the rest here. Okay, so, one piece just plugs in. This is from the harness, the new harness. Plugs into there. And then the other one. Let's see here. Try to lock this in there. You know what, let me pause this. I was trying to plug in the wrong side at first. Um, but you can see I got that side plugged in. And then there's the plug for the other side here. 
So let me try to finagle that in there. Actually, let me pause again. Okay, it's kind of tight in there to get that in there, but I got it in there and we'll just click it in. Alright. And then the other side is I got clicked that one in already. <clears throat> and then this side, one I already clicked in right here. So this is coming from the old harness. And then we just gotta plug this one in right here. Okay, so I kind of just took just took the wires up right here. Um, as best I could. I mean, I'm hoping that this is this bottom piece is gonna snake right back on there. I kind of put a zip tie right here back in the factory, and then I just added one more down here, and then kind of just tucked it in there. But I'm not really sure what these wires are for. But uh, well, let's see. Let's keep going. Kind of sucks that I put all this crap back together, but it is what it is. Got to take it all back apart, but so let me see if I can get some. But anyways, I got, I got to take this piece off this little vent to get better access to the BCM. And uh, there's, right, let me see, man, I'm trying to get a good shot of it, but. Gotta get this little deal out right here. In order to pop that off. That's kind of a pain to get off. Okay, so you see that right there. I got it. So I got it off this little piece right here. And then this will just kind of come out. Let's set that to the side. But this gives uh, better access to the BCM right here. And then we can kind of unclip this and just pull it out. Right here you can see kind of like there's this little deal right here. It just pops out. And now we have much better access to this thing. So let me figure out these wires. Okay, so oh, let me get this camera in here. So on this white plug, there's like two blue wires, but there's one. It's pin eight. It's going to be basically this wire right, this blue wire right there. So you can see the top of the plug. This is where you press. So it's going to be right below this brown and white wire. Pin eight. That's gonna where you <clears throat> tap in for the uh, parking lights. See how there's two of them similar? It's kind of hard to see on camera, but it's gonna be this one. One of them's a little darker, and they look similar though. But it's this one right here. Okay, the other wire I'm gonna tap into is the uh, door pin switch. I guess it's the trigger for uh, to shut the vehicle off immediately. And it's pin 10, and it's gonna be this gray with the black stripe right here, right here on the side. So when you're reading the pins, you're reading it from the plug with a we press from the top, that's the top, and you count the pins, and it's going to be, <clears throat> like I said, that gray one right there. It's kind of hard to see in there, but right there. Second one up from that blue. Obviously, I've unplugged this from the BCM, but I'm going to tap into that, and then that's going to go to this purple wire here. And the other one was <clears throat> a, a white wire with a black dot. And that's going to plug into the DC3. And I think that's all the connections. So let's, uh, well, except for, you do have to put a door hood pin switch, but uh, let's move on. Okay, as you can see, I got this tapped in. Purple 
Like right here is for the pin switch, door pin switch. And then it's kind of hard to see with that white one back here to the light blue. And uh, pop this VCM back in. Okay, so I got the door pin switch wire. I just kind of sneaked it through this grommet right here. And I poked it through on the other side. Let's take a look at that. You can see I kind of just poked it in there. That's for the hood pin switch. So I'm going to mount that somewhere, somewhere right here. But uh, this is the other end of it. And then it just plugs into here. So let's get to that. Okay, I just used a uh, step bit. I picked this spot right here. Figured that was probably do the least amount of damage to the vehicle. And it uh, basically comes up right around here. So I gotta get it mounted up. But uh, when I say step bit, I just used one of these. Love these kind of bits, they're awesome. But uh, let me get that. Uh, mount it in there and see the height adjustment and and uh, try to get that all working okay so i was wondering how i was going to do this but i ended up putting a little bit of white on that white out on that so i'm going to close this pin <clears throat> and see um see where it lands hopefully hopefully it doesn't bottom out or we'll see right now all right well kind of scraped it off but actually worse and I put the little dot to see where it's landing right there focus. so you can see a little dot right there but let's close the hood I don't know how good you can get it but not very good but anyways that's uh it's pretty good Okay, so now I'm gonna run the RF an antenna for the uh, remote. I think I just gotta run this wire. Actually, I'm not really sure what this is for. I have to read this, but um, I need to run this to get this working. So let's get to it. Okay, we gotta take this piece off. I'm gonna mount it somewhere right here. Matter of fact, let me take this off. The oil change but uh you just got to pop this little cap off and then there's seven millimeters in there okay that part is done i slapped this back on there man i really need to clean this pillar um i'm not going to double sided tape it yet because i'm not exactly sure i think i'm just going to end up putting it like that but it's got some wiggle you want to make sure to be careful because there's an airbag right here so you don't want to go in front of this airbag for sure so i just kind of tucked it around and down here and it's coming out right here so then i'm gonna figure out what to do for that but you know and i just noticed this has a button on it so maybe that's a valet or i don't know but uh anyways let's move on okay so i finally got this to work um let me just start off by like i initially flashed this and inside, I ended up having to come bring my laptop out. So in order to flash this, you have to go to this right here, myfirstidatalink.com. And uh, you have to install, I had to install network uh, or framework 2.0 or whatever, it wouldn't work. Um, finally did all that, got it to work, got it to recognize this um, web link updater. And then plugged it in, went through the prompts, went and I flashed it. And then I think I screwed something up though, because when I came back to try like, Everything was working except for it wouldn't start. It was giving me an error. Um, so I just went back in there and reflashed it. But um, but now let's see. We can see. So I have the remote right here. So we can arm it. Disarm it. Okay, so let's go back to arm it. And then let's hold this button down here for the remote start. As you can see the keys 
are in my hand. And there it goes. I mean, obviously, I just got this running. I just got it going. Um, you can see there's no key in the ignition. But uh, actually, let's see if, it, if I press the brake, what happens if it shuts off. Let's see. Oh, yep, there it goes. Didn't do anything on the receiver, but basically shut it off. So it even tells you still armed. Um, I haven't got the alarm part yet, so that uh, still works on here, but the, I don't have a siren or anything like that. But let's see what happens when I open the door. Let me unlock it. Okay, so see, so the it's telling me that the door triggers open, the lights are flashing. So that's working really good. Um, let me turn this off here. If I could disarm it. But I have the little unit up here. So I'm probably just gonna double-sided tape it like that. I think that's gonna be the best. But overall, um, I mean, this was way simpler than I thought. Way simpler. You saw me tap into the, uh, let me get out right here. Oops, <laughs> there I go again. Okay, but I, you saw me tap into the uh, steering column right here and uh, got all that in. And then basically, I mean, I just have everything kind of just stuck right here. I got a, I'm gonna, I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna mount it, but I'm gonna mount it up in there, um, and button some stuff up. But uh, I mean, basically, that was it. You know, this comes from the T harness right here, and then this is just a few wires. This is the door hood pin switch, and then, and I actually checked that, and it works. And you can see it flash on here for the hood, and then this is the. Uh, door pin switch and then the parking lights and then this is this goes right here this big black one with the blue one right here cord that goes to uh the receiver up here and that's it man you flash it and um you tap in those few wires on well on this truck with this t harness and everything works man i mean how does it get any more simpler than that but of course like always i want to uh you know, make things difficult for myself. Um, so the job is not done, but that, that stuff is working. But I do want to uh, install this window module, I'm hoping. Um, this one says it actually does four. It'll do four windows, one direction. So I might have to read the instructions and stuff, but... I'm going to try to set it up just to do the two uh, windows because I was thinking about a Titan window. So I figured, well, if I had this one, you know, that'll be three windows. Um, and then this, like I said before, I had got it for the mirrors. So I'm going to have to mess with that. I'm not even sure. Like I said, I have, as far as this alarm, I haven't messed with it in forever. I, I mean, it's been 20 something years probably since I installed the alarm. This was way simpler than I ever remember. But um, considering I did everything hardwired on the mirrors and stuff i'm gonna see if i can get get this stuff to work because i want it to when i lock it to uh basically fold the mirrors in and uh, roll the windows okay i had a little glitch right there but so anyways um yeah so that's about it i mean the alarm or the uh, remote start it's installed and uh it was pretty simple i'm gonna leave this stuff apart i got some more to go it's memorial weekend uh, old lady's bugging me because of course I'm in here in the shop, but um, yeah. So this part's done. I gotta. I'm gonna work on those window modules, and uh, hopefully maybe get these mirrors and get all this stuff to work. Like I said, when I arm it or lock the vehicle, then the windows go up, mirrors close. We'll see. If I can't get it to work, hey, I can't get it to work. But I'm gonna try. And uh, I did pick these up. Uh, yesterday actually. I got them on a, from a guy on offer up 26s. He had them sitting. He said he never mounted them. They look brand new to me. I mean, you can see even sticker on the tires. 26 by 10s, reverse lip in the back. 26 by 9s in the front. So these will be waiting so when I uh, finish bagging it. But anyways, just a little uh, review or not a review, but a, kind of like an install helper guy to uh, doing one of these alarms yourself. The shops cost. They charge way too much. It costs, 
it's ridiculous how much they want to charge just for this. So you can do it by yourself, man. Um, I, I, you know, I should probably should have went through the the uh, computer part a little bit more, but I mean, it's actually pretty self explanatory. If anybody has any questions, or whatever, and then I'll probably put in the uh, description where I got this stuff. I got this stuff from Lockdown Security. Like I said, the guy over there is really cool. Uh, walk basically answered all my questions was the most important thing, and uh, you know, I'm I probably guess that they would have they're gonna have tech support if I need it or whatever. So when I go through these window modules. Uh, I might need those guys help. So anyways, I'll put uh, the link to wherever I got where I got everything in the description and uh, Everybody have a nice day. Peace